Well, Father's Day is much more than just about gifts and get togethers. It can really be a chance to think about your relationship with dad and dad's relationship with you. Joining me now, professional coach and founder of the Unstuck Method, Isaac Bardos. Good morning. How Good are morning. you? Good morning. I'm great. Thank um, you for having me. We were just talking. You are, for uh, people, you are a personal wealth coach, um, emotional wealth coach. Um, and I asked you what that really means, and you, you really had an interesting um, answer. Yeah, so I found that a lot of people have had some level of personal success, either, mm -hmm. either in their professional lives or at least with financial and physical wealth mm -hmm. and health. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to emotional wealth, a lot of times that was a piece that got neglected and they, they didn't have that piece that filled them up mm -hmm. while they were accomplishing and achieving and growing their businesses and growing their professional achievements. Mm -hmm. And so what I found was that, you know, success without that emotional wealth felt led to a very hollow life. And so I found that for me in my own journey, my own path, that was something that I found was missing and I wanted to find someone that could help teach me that emotional wealth piece, how to build that into my life and that's what I do for others. And I'm really, um, I'm sure that has really helped in the relationship with your family. You have a child, daughter is it? Daughter, daughter. two years old. Okay, so yeah. not that long, two years old, yeah. pretty, <laughs> yeah. pretty. Uh, a baby, so cute. Here are some photos of your family here, your wife and your daughter. Um, how has this helped grow your relationship in just these two years or shaped you um, at, be at becoming a father? Well, I would say that becoming a dad was one of the biggest transitions mm -hmm. in my life. And I think that you know, many, many parts of our day is really just transitions, going from you know, dropping off the kids to going to work and going from the office to the meeting and the meeting to mm -hmm. you know, coming home and the commute to and from the gym. And all these different pieces are really the transitions that make up our day and the transitions in life, like getting married mm -hmm. and you know, starting a career, having a business, having a child. Those are pieces that make or break us and they challenge us because we never know what's gonna come next. Mm -hmm. And life is really unpredictable. And it gives us the opportunity to reach into ourselves and tap into how can we show up for someone else? You know, realizing that, you know, my daughter is, she's a person who teaches me lessons all the time. I thought I was going to be the dad and I'm going to show her, you know, <laughs> life. But she teaches yeah. me, you know, life is rich and it's supposed to be fun and enjoyable. And she reminds me of that every day. So it really challenges me also to, to show up as the best father that I can be mm -hmm. and in, in order to be the, the dad that she needs. That's really cool. Any advice, we have about 30 seconds here. Um, I know you are the founder of the Unstuck Method, which yeah. is a, a, a essentially saying not to be stuck in this um, place where you don't know your emotional uh, feelings mm -hmm. and, um, what your advice would you have for any fathers that are maybe struggling right now with fatherhood yeah. or um, with just being a dad every day? Yeah, so, you know, children, our children, they want us to be successful. Mm -hmm. and, and not everyone out there, you know, my heart goes out to them, not everyone is a dad, not everyone has children, but the father figure in the workplace, in the company, in the community, they it's want true. someone to, to show up and to be that mentor figure. Mm -hmm. So really, you know, fatherhood, parenthood, whether, regardless of whether you have children or not, that piece is something that people need and realizing that the people that we can mentor or, or father, those mm -hmm. are the people that are the next leaders, the next generation of lawmakers, the next generation of teachers that are going to impact the world in the coming years. Yeah. And realizing that we were gifted an opportunity to impact those, those precious souls mm -hmm. and realize that that's on us, but also that they just want us to have fun with them yeah. and to give them that attention, that connection, that appreciation for who they are and, and be that person for them that they need us to be. Really cool. Thank you so much. You are definitely um, giving us a new perspective on Father's Day today and appreciating dad and dad appreciating um, children, whoever may be in their lives. So thank you for coming by and stay with us.